Hello everyone, I'm Pastor Watson and I'd like to wish you all a happy Thanksgiving. And I'd like to read a passage of scripture uh, for you from Psalm 95, which says, O come, let us sing unto the Lord, let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and make a joyful noise unto him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the deep places of the earth. The strength of the hills is his also. The sea is his, and he made it, and his hands formed the dry land. O come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, the sheep of his hand. Today is a day that is set aside for us to thank God for all his goodness toward us. Throughout the year, we show thanks and honor to those whom it's due, uh, family members and friends and those who serve our nation and our communities. But today is set aside by long-held tradition and by proclamation of historical voices and by national law as a day in which the country offers up thanks to our God who has preserved us and protected us through all generations. He created all things and provides all things even those who don't know him are blessed by him. As Jesus said, our Father makes his Son to rise on the evil and on the good, and sendeth rain on the just and the unjust. To those who are faithful to him, he blesses the more abundantly. As Psalm 136 says, O oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. O oh, give thanks unto the God of gods, for his mercy endureth forever. O oh, give thanks to the Lord of lords, for his mercy endureth forever. To him alone who has done great wonders, for his mercy endureth forever. To him that by wisdom made the heavens, for his mercy endureth forever. Coming down, we read also that we thank him because he remembered us in our low estate for his mercy endureth forever and he has redeemed us from our enemies for his mercy endureth forever who giveth food to all flesh for his mercy endureth forever O oh, give thanks unto the god of heavens for his mercy endureth forever from the greatest things that we can imagine to the smallest concerns of our day god provides for our needs. Paul wrote in Ephesians, he is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think. And Jesus wrote or, or told us that the very hairs of our head are all numbered. God gives us the gift of salvation through Jesus Christ and the promise of eternal life with him. And he gives us the very breath that we breathe. And sometimes it may be hard to realize all the blessings of God when we focus instead on the things that trouble us, uh, work or school, things in the news or family issues. But it's God who provides all good things. James wrote, every good gift and every perfect gift is from above and cometh down from the Father of lights. And so today I encourage you to give thanks with your families, to give thanks with those that you're gathered around. Give thanks to God for the biggest things and for the smallest things. And I'll remind you that the more we give thanks, the more we find that we have to be thankful for. So with that, happy Thanksgiving and God bless you.